This video is brought to you by premiumbeat.com. All right, so there's so many different ways to create minimal and exciting titles. That's why I'm gonna just dedicate this video to creating one specific title, and we're gonna talk about a handful of techniques to create this amazing title. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So one of the big components of this tutorial is talking about the, you know, the mindset behind creating these titles so you can create whatever you wanna do. So we're gonna talk about that deeply in the video. So without wasting more time, let's jump into our tutorial and let's start creating some really cool titles. All right, we got After Effects loaded up and we have a lot of great subtle techniques that we're gonna talk about in this video so let's come here to our tutorial composition and we have our two titles in here already no animation just have them laid out i'm using the typeface gotham and this is a bold font right here the first thing you want to do when you're creating titles is to set up the background elements and get it all going and get it set in place before you do any animation so the design is first so once you have your title in there sticking out with your gotham typeface or anything similar you want to grab the rectangle tool and we just really want this to stand out so we'll make sure no layer is selected and we'll draw out a rectangle you know in the middle of our title and we come here and change our color and then let's go ahead and make sure this layer is underneath our main title and we'll make sure that this is in the center so now we have our background on our title and that looks okay but i want to make our title stand out from the background so what we can do is go to effect perspective and we're going to add a drop shadow and we can come here to softness and kind of increase that by a little bit then we can come here to edit duplicate we'll just duplicate it by a little bit and that helps it stand out just a little bit more easy technique to make the drop shadow look really good. So that looks really nice. Uh, maybe we'll actually increase the softness by like to 50. So if you're working with one title, that's fine. But if, say if you're working with two titles, you know, we need this to not just be hanging there. So let's go ahead and kind of keep the theme consistent uh, and we can create, create another box. So we'll come here to our rectangle tool again and we can change this color to white this time. Click okay. And we'll just draw a box around our second title if you have one. And we'll grab the shape layer and put it underneath our second title. And we'll come here to toggle switch the most here at the bottom. And we'll set the track mat to alpha inverted mat. So now we can see through our box here. And one thing we can do is control double click the pan behind tool to make sure that anchor points in the middle. And we can kind of size this box up to fit our title exactly how we need it. And if we need to, we can select both of these layers here, go to the line tab and just center them up. And then we can create like a divider between these two just kind of create a little separation and we just draw out a rectangle like this nice and thin so now we have our layout done and the only thing we use here was just a rectangle tool and i like to be able to keep all the elements consistent that's why we just use the rectangle tool and that's a good way just to create a consistency in you know the design the branding of what you're doing just use you know maybe the same shape and just variate the colors if you need to so like we can use this as like a brand color and before we move further into this video i want to say thank you to premiumbeat.com for sponsoring this video premium beat is a royalty free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects they have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video so for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty free music. Now we have the design done. We need to talk about animation and there's a lot that we can do with animation, but I want to keep it very seamless, just kind of going one thing at a time. So we need to reveal on our title. So the first thing we'll do is we'll grab our big, you know, background box here and we need to animate this. So we'll go to our shape layer, open this up, go in the rectangle one, go into the rectangle path one, and you'll see size and position. These are, these two properties are very important. Let's add a keyframe for both of these. And let's move them forward in time. Then let's come here to the Y position and bring this you know, below our title like this. And we can break the chain for size and bring the Y size down to zero. So now this will simply happen. Okay, cool. But let's come here between the keyframes. And I'm gonna want this to actually move above our title because this is gonna reveal on our title. And now bringing the last keyframes in by a little bit. And I wanna make the last keyframes easy ease by hitting F9 on my keyboard. And now you should have an animation like this and we need to reveal on the rest of our title. So let's go ahead and do that now. We can grab our title, which is um, clean titles, and we'll come here and grab the rectangle tool. And we want to find a point right when the box is underneath our title like this. And we'll just draw, draw out a mask like so. And simply we'll come here to mask one, light a keyframe for mask path. And right at this moment is when the title should be completely on. So we'll grab the selection tool and we'll just bring this right above our title, set the mask to subtract. So now boom, that comes on and then we'll go past one more frame and just lift that up. So now we should have something like this and that just, you know, looks really seamless. The title just comes on from our box. So that's awesome. 
So the next thing I want to animate is our subtitle here. So we got our two layers here. And what we do here is grab both our layers here. Just hit P on keyboard for position. And we'll add a keyframe for position for both of those. Move those keyframes forward in time. And we'll just move this up. Be right underneath that box. And we'll bring in the endpoints here. And let's bring these layers underneath that shape layer. So now once that's in there, this will just drop down like so. And we'll make the last keyframes easy. Easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And I'll bring them in by a little bit. Make the animation a little bit quicker. Nice, that looks great. So now we just have to animate that divider. So a really quick thing we can do here is open up the shape layer, go into the rectangle path one, you know, make sure that chain's broken, and add a keyframe for size, move it forward, and we bring the X size down to zero. So that'll kind of just expand open, and we'll make both keyframes easy. Ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So now we have a full animation like this, and this looks really nice. It's all coming together. And I want to be able to just animate this text a little bit more, add more movement to this because, you know, it's just a static title. It's just going to sit here. So what we can do is actually go into our effects and presets folder, go into animation presets, go to uh, presets, and we'll go to text, go to organic, and we're going to grab wheat field. And this is one of my favorite animation presets here. And we'll grab our main title here, clean titles, and we'll drag this preset on top of it. Then we'll hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. You can see that there's keyframes right here that have been added. Make sure those are placed at the beginning of the timeline. And one thing you'll notice is that now we have this animation on our title, and this might be a little bit too much. So if we want to fix this, we can just come here, open up our title again, and you'll see that the skew has been altered. We can set the skew down to 20. And now it's not as you know crazy as it was before, and that's really nice. And we can, of course, apply this to our bottom layer as well. So. In the same time, make sure your playhead is at the beginning of that layer. Have it selected and just apply the wheat, wheat field uh, preset to it. You know, I think this looks really nice. And the only thing we really need to do here is add maybe just a little bit more movement here. So what we can do is go to layer, new, null object. And we'll grab everything except for a background if you have one. And parent this to the null object. So right when this is animated, I want to hit S on keyboard for scale. Add a keyframe for that. We'll move forward by just a few frames. And I'm just going to scale this down. And I'm gonna make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on my keyboard. And essentially what this extra animation does, it adds a little bit more you know, attention to the title, but it also says, hey, all the other in animation is done. And I think it's a really nice touch to be able to have something like this. So if you want to animate this out a little bit further, you can absolutely do that. You can you know, copy and paste your keyframes, but a quick way to save time is to grab all your layers except for the background, go up to layer, pre-compose, and we'll call this one title all and this is just a really quick way to cheat this um, we'll come up here to edit split layer and then we'll just delete it and then we'll go grab our layer and we'll go to edit duplicate we'll right click our layer go to time and we'll grab time reverse layer and then we'll just bring this to the cut so here's our title and now it is also reversed and this was just a really cheap way just to you know reverse the animation so we can save time and then obviously you go back into your you know composition and then you can change it all out so if you're a bit curious on how i create these extra graphics here we have actually a handful of tutorials on creating accent motion graphics but i actually didn't create this from scratch i actually used a template that is installed right here inside of after effects in this motion row extension called create pack which has like you know 3000 plus elements you know and i can easily preview these presets from titles to lower thirds and so much more there's over 3600 elements in this pack but i can come here to our burst category and I can take a look at some of these presets, find what I like here, click apply. Easily change our colors up. And we can see that's easily applied here. I can scale this down and just move it over. And then I can change my colors very easily. And simply I can come here, duplicate it, move it over, duplicate it, and just do this a few times and just offset them in time. And within a minute, we've been able to kind of just spruce up our title sequence or any you know composition in general just by bringing in these accent motion graphics, these bursts. And this is really just a very, very small fraction of Create Pack. There's so many different elements in here. So if you want to have a full motion graphics pack that you can use on pretty much every After Effects project, I will drop the link to Create Pack in the description. And also, if you want to learn how to create accent motion graphics, I will link a few of my favorite tutorials that I've created uh, in the description as well. So hopefully now you can leave this video with a great mindset to creating your own minimal clean titles inside of After Effects. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.